G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Joel Woodle, and welcome back to Demolishers Only in 7 Days. It, it still hits me, every time I say that, everything inside me is like, this is a terrible idea, but somehow, this terrible idea has made it to day 25. I have had my run-ins, I have no lives left remaining, so it is now permadeath, but I have a house, I have a sunrise, I have my new living room balcony up here, so it could be worse. It could be so much worse. I've still got so many things I've yet to do. I need to put some more points of the cardio and heavy armor. I need to fix my fence around my house. I need to fix my base. <laughs> Getting mildly abused by me in sign form, but that's okay. So many things to do, but I think the most pressing one is to find that beaker so I can make myself the chem station. Get the chem station, or I can make gunpowder. I get gunpowder, I can make ammo. If I get ammo, I can hopefully survive the horde night. Yes, the base is probably a pretty good idea for that as well. In fact, I need to show you something new that I did do overnight. I uh, moved some things around and uh, made myself a fresh, cheeky balcony out the side, which gives me a great view of my horde base. It's, <laughs> it's not quite anything at the moment, but at least now I can look out over there and ponder how screwed I actually am. But I needed the new balcony. I wanted to add this as soon as I moved into this place way back when, and I finally got it done. And it's great. It was asking for it. Got a nice little narrow hallway here. Of course, near the coffers and from his balcony here. It was the dream. Speaking of getting that beaker, though, it is trading restock day. So I might grab the most valuable ones out of you. You can stay there for the moment. I'll repair you and sell all of those. And actually, I did do a good job last night of uh, doing some treasure maps. I'll probably actually read you guys as well. You guys can come with me. So it stacks of 6,000 brass as well. I have too many mods at this point. I have I have too many spot helmets. They're coming in thick and fast. I can't even sell them as fast as I get them. I grabbed all those treasure maps because now that I've done a couple of them, once you've done the first one, like of Sarah's treasure map, for example, once you do the first Sarah's treasure map, all Sarah's treasure map from then on can be read in stacks. So I can get them all on the map waiting for me whenever I can get out there. So I've got a couple all around to the uh, to the west. I've got some more out to the east and one to the north as well. So if I'm ever out there, and in fact, there's a drop down at Trady Bob's. I reckon I could get there just as he opens up uh, the shop for business that day. I'll take you and you with me. I'll repair you both so that you're worth a bit more coin. There you go, and leave you behind. I also need to get myself another sugar butts. I have no more awesome sauce. I have no more sugar butts. That's all right, though. We're going to crack on if I can get down out of my house. Oh, yeah. Another thing I've changed. I no longer have to go out this way, out the hole in the wall. I kept running into this wall by habit. So now I have a little gap down into my garage, which makes a whole lot more sense. <laughs> An extra barrier between me and the demo is always a good plan. I've still just been struggling so much to find myself a, like, a snack vendor. Oh, there's a demo right there, lit up in the headlight of my bike. But finding a, a snack demo has been, a snack vendor, rather, has been much more, damn it, much more difficult than I was hoping it would be. Trying to find sugar butts has been a stretch. You're a broken one anyway. Is there a, is there a snack one in here somewhere? I think there's usually one to pair with it, but no, it's all looking pretty empty. I can't find any. I haven't. I can't find any freebies. The only ones that I know of are at the traders. Oh, just as I say that though, look, I was just at that corner just there. I went the other way. Look at it. Look at it in all of its delicious snacky glory. Not that I can super duper get in there at the moment though. What's what's the way in? What's what's the best way in just to get to the vendo? I could even. In fact, you know what? I reckon I can. I reckon I can. Well, right about there, I reckon it's going to be. Pop a hole in the wall so I can reach through, shove my money in, and get some minty fresh breath out of it. I hope this works. I really hope this works. Got to take advantage of having to steal tools. Oh, I I wasn't even close. I think, I, I think I've tunneled into the stairwell by accident. Was I... Uh-oh. Ah, it's just a rambler. That's okay. It's uh, further into the building than I gave it credit for. You know what? I might just do it like this then. Might just do it like this. You're already pre <laughs> You've got less health than the bloody concrete block I just beat to death had, so that works. Although it's heckin' bloody loud. Can you... Oh my goodness. 
Oh, I haven't hit the broad side of anyone's barn at all this morning yet. Can you... There we go. Finally hit you once. Hit you twice. <laughs> Learn how to shoot, please. I'm sure there's going to be some demos guarding this thing. It's also now after 6 a.m. So I should probably start making my way over to uh, Trady Hugh before I leave completely. No sugar butts in you. Check. Ooh, yeah, right. Thank you. Always check the bloody newspaper stands and grab the gates here on the way through as well. And as it gets so, so bleeding dark. Wow. Talk about overcast. I basically closed my eyes. There's the zeros. Thank you. I'm actually going to whack on my loot and gogs for this. Not that it's super going to help me. It gets me to 89 loot level. <laughs> that's, that's a grim day. That's a grim day to be riding around on something that doesn't have a roof. Uh, you. I'm going to mark that one as in, like, just in there. Save waypoint as you. So I know I can come back and get some snacks later on. All right. Well, not a super duper productive morning. I need to go back that way. But at least now I can check Huey Boy without having to ride to the other side of the world. I mean, yeah, I might miss out on the drop, but that's okay. In fact, this will actually work out pretty well for me because I do have to get that other job from Trady. All I've got at the moment are just treasure maps. G'day, bud. How are you? A nickel ain't worth a dime anymore. Yeah, yeah, now nah, you've said that to me before and I didn't listen to you then, I won't listen to you now. You've got some gunpowder, which is good for me, but the thing that I really want, you don't have a beaker. Got some rifle world books though, that'll edge, oh, and a laser sight mod, that'll actually help make my rifle a little bit more accurate when firing from the hip, which I haven't even started making the tier 2 sniper off again. I unlocked that the other day and immediately got distracted. Damn it, me. Anything else though? Hey, Scott, you got some wood. I'll buy that. Nothing else really giving me the physical. Solar banks, blade traps, wood splitter mod, which I already have in you. No, we're fine. Nails, concrete. Nah, not much. All right, that's all right then. I'll I'm check to see if you've got the sugar butts and then I will sell you and buy you. You've got the sugar butts. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Golden. In fact, if I get really lucky here and I go Nitro Express to ride all the way down to other tradey, I reckon I can make it before my things wear off. I'll sell you and you and you and you and all of you all the way through. Sell the brass, sell the brass. Don't need to sell those ones. Gold nuggies, machete parts, and money. Nice. I'll take you. I'll take you. I'll take you. Nice and quick, Josh. Don't think too fast. I mean, thinking's never really a problem. I'll take both of those ones. And the tacky warfare. I'll take you. Anvil, already got them anyway, but thank you regardless. Where was it? Gas, don't need it. Cornmeal, don't need it. The wood, thank you. Don't need the iron military fiber, probably not. I don't need to take the steel anymore, actually, because I have a lot of that. I'll take the wire relays. And that is about it, I think. I think that was everything that I wanted. Making double sure, wasting time, but I reckon we're good. I'll take the sand, that's for easy concrete. And I reckon we're done. I reckon we're done on that one. All right. Uh, Cheers, knackers. Oh, actually, show I'm a Muppet. I mean, I, that, of course I am, but I um, I actually cooked up some pumpkin cheesecake in my house over there and then probably left it in the campfire. I think that's only for buying stuff, though. I didn't really spend that much money. Just made some money, so no massive loss, but still should have thought ahead with that. I want to do it. I want to do it so bad. Come here. Come here. Oh, he is a th oh, he's a thick boy. He stopped me dead in my tracks and took like 20 health off my bike. I thought I'd snap off one of your legs, but apparently you're thundering around on tree trunks. Alrighty then. All, right, all, all I did is piss him off and fucked up my bike. I've, I've, I've seen it happen before. You hit regular zombies with any sort of vehicle and parts fly off them. But apparently the demos move in mountains packed with explosives. I didn't make it with the awesome source, but that's all right. The gate's been closed. I'm starting to think, I suppose demos is a bit of a gamble, but I'm starting to think that just leaving the gates open so I can pull in my bike immediately might be the intended way to do all of this. So your inventory, please. I've got the books, things I just bought, but I'm going to keep them. Engines, ooh, don't think I need them either. I can, I mean, a two and a half grand, I can get it from anywhere. Ergo grip mod, no. You've got more rifle wood books, beautiful. Tools digest, I'll take those two. I mean, I know what I'm looking for. Take that, take that. I'm looking for the beaker, pretty bloody please. Antibiotics, no. Chlamydia mod, no. Hunter, improve, ooh. 400 bucks, I'll take you. Bottle of acid, actually, I needed 
two more. That's one, so I need one more till I have enough to make the chem station. Take the cement, take the cobble. And that's probably gonna do us, let's double check. No beaker. Check the books just in case, nothing there. All right, I think that's about as good as it could have been done. Cheers, Knackers. That's all I needed. I will go and grab the derp on the way through, though. But that was some nitro goodness. I've got the crippler mod on my rifle at the moment. If I take you off and chuck the laser sight on, that's supposed to help hip firing, right? And aiming on the side just burns my stamina so much. I want to make my hip firing as accurate as possible. Helps with aiming quickly and increases the accuracy when firing from the hip. It's also on any firearm or crossbow. Hold F to activate. Hold F to activate multiple. Okay, so there's my little sights. It doesn't actually make... It doesn't actually make my reticle get smaller at all. Is it like... Does it just like increase the chance of it snapping onto a headshot instead? Or... I don't actually know. I'm going to buy both of you though while I'm here. Because I do need to learn Elixir for my base upgrades. Uh, I'm unsure if that's actually doing anything. It must. It's the whole reason for having that mod. It must do something. <laughs> it's, it's risky though. Because testing it out might result in a big explosion. Quickly grab this drop that's out in the middle of nowhere. It's just occurred to me that when I was at Trady Hue before, I got so distracted by having to try and maximize my time with my buffs. I completely for oh thank you. Completely forgot to go and grab uh a quest from him. Open you. Some spears, some medicals. I can make steel spear quality five now. Beautiful. And some knuckles. And I can make my own recog too. Actually that's not bad. That's not bloody bad. Oi! Knackers, can I can I really quick test out my <laughs> my new laser sight on you? Sprinting makes it spread way too far. Come close up. Oh, I didn't. I di didn't think ahead. <laughs> I modified my gun, and I completely forgot to reload it afterwards. Atta gala. Why am I like this? Why are you like this, Woodle? <laughs> What? Why don't you ever learn? It was a long way back when I made it back to Trady Hughes. It's almost midday. We're all good though. I can turn off my laser so I don't blind the bloody cobber. Although it's kind of tempting, isn't it? Give me, give me a better deal. Give me your beaker. Give me something or I'll stop melting your corneas. Right, you. That's not the one I needed. I needed jobs. You got a couple different options. Actually, this is something that was suggested in the comments. If I grab... A, a quest that's at uh, the, the passing gas just outside. I can reset it because it, it, there's not much left of it. It's basically tissue paper at this point. How far away are you? You're like a hundred and something meters. So if I go back to the tier ones, no previous tier, previous tier. None of those look close enough to be the yeah, passing gas. Just maybe, maybe, maybe. No, it's on the other side of the world. All right, never mind then. It's worth a try though. Keep my eye out for that. Because if I can reset the passing gas, it means that it's back to its full health, full strength, and I can have some sort of refuge again. There's a tier three infestation not too far away. That one's the uh, distribution center again. I'm not doing that. So yeah, all right, you'll do. The McCormick residence. Oh, it's just out the back actually. I've actually been through there before, so it's a tier 2 POI that has uh, just extra zombies in it. Makes sense. I might need my better rifle for that though, so I'll quickly just duck home, whip up a new sniper, and then take that with me. I won't scrap my tier 1 sniper this time. Normally I scrap my lower tier weapons, but I feel like having an extra sniper to maybe chuck a, um, a suppressor or something on wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't be a particularly terrible idea. Use our new entry. Up we go. And then up there, look at that, that's so much better. Gonna take seven minutes to make, even with my XP gogs on. That is a bloody long time. How are you looking? You've still got lots of lead and brass in you. I think you are completely empty of all of your materials, so I can move you now. I wish you could... Oh, seriously? Seriously? I wish you could, like, pick up and move forges without, like, actually putting me in inventory. Just, like, drag them around so you didn't have to smelt out all of your materials again. That would be nice, but I don't think it's going to be a reality anytime soon. This is good, though. Seven minutes. I'm forced to be patient, which means I get to do stuff around the house. That's nice. It's like a casual Sunday. I've got to move this other forge before I can put my new one down. Or the same one down, but move the other one. So you can all hang out in there for the moment. So could you. I, I have to smelt in. <laughs> I have to smelt in the clay so I can smelt out these things as, 
as in the casings or tips. I know I could just take them out as they are, but it takes so long to do that. I may as well just turn them into something more useful. I need that chem station though. I really bloody do. I get the chem station, I get ammo. I can start rolling with AP stuff, which is so much better off for me. Look at this though. It doesn't take much. Doesn't take much to turn this apocalypse into something actually quite nice. That's the dream. And so, uh, the underneath, I actually use some of the plates that have like uh, support structures underneath them rather than just regular plates stuck to the wall with glue. So look, look at that. There's actually like girders and things underneath to make it look like it actually exists, which I really like. It just means that the top of it now has um, some different textures on it. No big deal though. Run back over to you. I can paint it all up to look nice and even. But even so though, even just as is, <laughs> I feel like bloody Mufasa. Look at my kingdom, except that shadowy place. I'm not sure yet what to do with this wing down here. The east wing, the west wing has all of my living stuff in it. My northern wing has my little lounge room and I don't know what to do with that bit either. There's, there's so much room to expand into. I'm not used to it. Normally, I'm struggling for space, but now I've got more space than I can poke a cat at. Get rid of all of you. I'm gonna have to go through and clear all of this out, but I, I like it. I like not being cramped up. It feels so nice to have breathing room. I have a new sniper rifle is now done. I can grab you. I can grab the mods out of you real fast. Take all of that, that four times scope. I'm still definitely in love with. If I actually, before I do all of that, I know that like you can compare it with the mods in it. It says down the bottom that comparative values don't include mod values, but I like to have a look at it sometimes anyway. So you're doing 105 compared to not, oh my goodness, that's a big jump. That's like a good, that's almost like a 10% jump. I think it's actually like 7%, but whatever. I can't math to save myself. In you all go. You can hang out in them. And at some point I will grab, I used to have like an old lever action around here somewhere, I think. There you are with an atom scope and a suppressor. In fact, you come with me. You come with me, modify that. Could I just roll, could I roll two sniper rifles? And potentially run one with the AP ammo? Because I'm running a lot of like, this garbage in my pockets anyway that I'm so used to carrying so much more that I could probably do with some extra damage out of you. But if I put like the AP damage on the suppressed rifle, no, no I, I'm still nervous. I'm still nervous by clipping someone in the background when I least suspected and blowing us all sky high. All right, I've got my purple sniper that has my regular stuff on it. I've got my red sniper that has my suppress one and the eight times scope and a crippler mod. So that's going to be like, as I cruise around, I'll use that to be my, as I call it like a crossbow, that same kind of mechanic, try and take the stealth headshots if I can. I know it has that lower damage rating and it's got a suppressor on it as well, but with that extra chance for decap doing it silently might be a pretty good shout. It's worth a try. It's worth a try at least. And when shit kicks off, I still have the AK uh, for real desperate times and my normal proper sniper rifle. I don't know. We're experimenting. I'm trying. The, like playing with demos only is forcing me to try and consider different ways of playing this game that I normally would. It's forcing me out of my comfort zone. Not that my comfort zone is very big at all. So it's kind of nice, but kind of terrifying. But I'm not going to go down without trying. Make sure I've got my appropriate goggles on. My uh, perception gogs. I still don't think there's any real value in me running around with the loot and gogs, but I have them on me for the moment anyway. Where's where's the first map? Who wants to cop around? Who has got the first round from my suppressed sniper? Is it? I mean, it's an infestation. It should be. Oh, I was gonna say there should be demos everywhere, and there's one two inches away from my face. Hold on, hold on. Not great. Still not great. I got him soggy, but that's about the best that I've done. Three rounds. Three rounds to be a little bit quieter. I, I, I don't think I don't think it's the great, the best idea, but we're gonna keep on trying. It's been a long time since I was here. We're gonna try and clear out my path a little bit so that if I do have to skedaddle quickly, I have a nice easy way to get back out the fronts. That'll do. Get the red tip sniper out. That is a beer bottle, not a demo. Get down nice and low and go, go, go like it's a house fire. Although I don't think we're actually too far away from having a house fire. Oh, I saw you pop up. Oh, yep, time to go. Stand up, please. Oh my goodness gracious, that was a little bit too, oh, a little bit too close. I shouldn't panic fire. I really shouldn't be panic firing with anything because there's way too many explosives not far from my face that I definitely take into account. Gone, gone, gone. 
It's hard to go past it, isn't it? It's hard to go past it with that proper four times ACOG scope. It's just delicious. It's just a good bloody time. I suppose if I was like really min-maxing it or I suppose like making the best decisions, I'd put the suppressor on the slightly better sniper rifle so that that damage debuff that it gets kind of negates the extra damage I was getting by having a higher level rifle. Bonds made level 61, bloody gorgeous. But I, in my mind, I'm going to pull out the purple rifle when shit goes really sideways. And at that point, I want to have the most amount of damage I can possibly get getting put down as quickly as possible. Because if I get in a bit of a jam, like I think I'm about to, I just want to put them down, get out. In fact, you know what? I'm going to go... I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to come in the front door. I refuse to drop in on places like that. It's just going to get me killed. Yeah, see, look at this. Look at this. Nice, easy shots on both of them. I might actually go... Oh, do I go with the suppressor? We'll try. Instant kill on you. Old mate didn't even wake up from that. He's still not dead. Oh. Oh, it's so hard to aim that eight times. It's so hard to aim the eight times. I'm zooming in and checking out what's behind there he is, and I really didn't want to. Good. I could probably use my spear on you. Yes, I can. Delicious loot drops. Please give me a beaker. Nah, not to pee. This is going good, though. I'm laying waste to the demos and leaving them everywhere. I'm not sure which way to go, left or right. Let's start with the left and make our way around. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it was almost directly... <laughs> Fuck me dead. Fuck you lot dead, actually. It's about time I blew two people's minds in a bedroom the first time in my life and I'm going to pin it up on me bloody wall. Holy... Good God, I love this sniper rifle so much. Like, it doesn't have a great chance of that decap, but it's relatively high because my levels are clapped out. But look at that. Didn't aim, didn't panic, just put the muzzle in their nose and started pulling triggers. That was a bloody good time. And I, I, I'm going to be so sad. I'm going to be so sad when a new 7 Days Alpha comes out and I have to go back to using the old black screen scopes because it's fucking awful. These new scopes are so much better. It's definitely in my um my non-negotiable everyday mods I'll roll with forever now. Slowly try and push downstairs. In fact, I'll turn off my headlamp to try and get the drop on anyone who might be down here. Which is a lot. Oh, there's a lot. Oh, my God. Oh, get up and run, please. Oh, suddenly there was 8 million footsteps trickling my ears. Hold on. This is where I'd love... Oh, no. Oh, no. I was supposed to say, just take some cover behind the fence and hope for the best. Right. That wasn't even me. That wasn't even me. Someone in the back got real nipple happy and started clapping titties. You're gone. There's no one else going from that way. It's just you remaining. The weather turned and the building turned. And <laughs> there's a cheeky deeky little crawler cruising about. I'll be right with you, Slugsworth. Just give us a tickle. Let's grab you and you and you. There was another loot bag I walked past. Hold on a second. So I can play the old Call of Duty, making crawlers so I can go and hit the mystery box. Where are you? There you are. Gone. Lovely. How did that even happen? And how is the building not burning down? That was a big bloody explosion. Look at it. Look at the damage you guys have done. There's still more down here, apparently. Oh, there's a lot more. Look at all the red dots. No, don't do it, Josh. No, don't do it, Josh. You need you need the building. You need the loot. Just bring them outside and let them wander over to you. No more coming up. Stamina's going down. No, stand up faster, please. Boop you. Thank you for the bag. I'm getting bolder and bolder with my shots and I probably shouldn't be, but I'm backing myself in. It's a rare and unusual feeling. No more rounds. Change over to the other rifle. I think you're done. I think we're good. See, that's why. That's why it's good having a secondary rifle. Even just rolling two four-time scopes on that would be a real good bloody time. Anything in you. Got a plaster cast. Thank you. I needed some of those. Ooh, do I have an impact bracing at the moment? I don't. How have I gone this long with all my ankle bones still working with no impact bracing? That's a that's a miracle for me. I'm hoping it's relatively safe now, though I'm not going to count any trucks at all. Not a po Ooh. not a poultry farmer, regardless. I'm not intending on starting now. Can I get that shot? I reckon I can get that shot. I reckon I can get that shot with the eight times scope and the suppressor. It's all right. Uh, that right there has justified it. Immediately. 
There's no one else in there, but there's still a whole other way to go around the other way. Oh, yeah, look. Oh, yeah, look. All right. Be ready to run when they start coming after you. Please work for me, sniper rifle. Oh, it didn't work for me. And I took the second shot when I really shouldn't have. That was way, way too close to blowing everything up. All right. Back to the purple. They're coming back outside. Get a bit of distance. Drop you. Where's the rest of them? I don't like leaving them unseen because they're going to start getting under some suspect shit and blowing each other away. Good, good. And good. Last one. Done. Job done. Infested. Cleared. Whew, this is... This is not getting any easier. It's going from next level to next level to next level, and I hate it. Here's the loot room. Bloody beautiful. Thank goodness it didn't destroy the <laughs> definitely above board calendar. I'm starting to figure out where the demo's priorities lie. Apparently, it's in big titty lumberjacks. They've got explosive titties, and <laughs> they're looking for the same kind. Can we check the workbench for some brass? Medical pile. No beaker. I am running with the um with my loot and gogs on. And my loot level is 78, so utter garbage. Read you. Can I quality four claw hammer? Thanks for that. I wish I could take these posters. I love all the new posters. I just wish I could take them with me. A triple storage pocket mod. Fucking you, beauty. Check the infested cash as well. Not much, but I will take you for the steal. My chockers? I am chockers. Shit. There's a chicken that's come to say good day. G'day, Chuck. You can you, you can have it. You can you can uh, you gotta let me out though. You can have the cave. One of the rarely seen cave chickens, but always a pleasure to stumble across ya. <laughs> Look at the size of this crater, dude. That's ridiculous. I was at the fence line and I was still utterly certain I was gonna get spatted by it, but we're at least alright for now. You can hold on to whatever is gonna stack into that. Thank you. I did actually see a full auto trigger mod. That's kind of tempting. I'm going to quickly eat you because I could do with a cheeky little snack. Uh, I'm going to replace that doubly with a triple in. In you go. And actually put that other mod onto... Where was it? There was another another tier 5 in here that could use some extra mods. In you go. Every mod I put into you, you get more and more valuable. And it's great for me. Hand in this quest nice and quickly. XP gogs on. I've got some loot space. So you've got... Ooh, gross. Stun button. Secret Shamway recipe. Uh, I mean, none of that's really giving me the fizz. That's gonna have to be the skill magazines. What would I ever take a stun button? Absolutely no, thank you. <gasps> it was the. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Oh! You just solved all of my concerns. Fuck getting a beaker. I flat out chem station. Fucking you, beauty copper. I'll absolutely take that. That justifies all the things I've been up to. And just like that, just like that, <laughs> right, I've been looking for it. I've been going out and raiding when I should be building a horde base, but I've been justified. Yeah, no, I know. Because I finally got what I needed. He's got a special job to open a route to another tradie here. So mind if I do. All right. I don't really need to go through the inventory at all. Even though I do have a pumpy and I'm quite partial to a cheeky pump or two. No more than two, though. I can't last that long. Uh, I'm going to leave that with you. There's nothing else I need. There's nothing else I need. With the power of chem station, it's opened up so much for me. Read all of you. Read all of you. Read all of you. We're still so far away from a DD. But at this point, I can't help but be happy. It's nice, actually. Being able to pull up and use my garage again. Now, there's actually a way to get in and out of it. Close you. Close you. And being able to pull things out of my mini bike again is going to be way, way easier. Gorgeous. Absolutely top tier by me. It's rare I get to say or think that. You can go... Ooh. I want to put it in the corner like that, but I'd have to get rid of some of the building over there. Although it's only... No, I can do that. I can do that. It's only that little bit there. Pop you. And then chuck you in right next to it so it doesn't... I thought I heard footsteps, but we're okay. So it doesn't get in the way. Or does that look silly? Uh, it looks a bit silly, doesn't it? All right, <laughs> I'll pick you back up. Move you one block to the right. We've got the chem station. Now I just need what? I need nitro powder and coal. That'll give me the uh, the gunpowder. That'll give me the AP ammo. And I will hopefully be laughing. Oh, how good. I'm going to rebuild this wall over here so it all looks nice and neat. Chuck that in like that so the outside of the building will look right. And then, oh, solid block. 
Solar block down the bottom. Just make it look a little bit nicer. Just that little bit bloody nicer. I will need two before I do anything though. Grab you, grab you, and upgrade that one. Otherwise, I can't reach it anymore. Upgrade you and you. Look how good the nail gun is. This is why I wanted one for so long. It means I can actually do the things that I want to. So make gunpowder. I've only got enough coal to make 120, but I'm definitely not in a position to argue with that. That's almost bang on. Actually, you know what? I'll just get you cooking then. But I need to unlock the stack of gunpowders, which means I need more explosive books. And even though I do have a point in explosives, it seems determined to give me every other book for every other skill tree except that one. Do I go another point in it then to try and get some more? Potentially? But I'm trying to save my points though to get the next level of agility. Agility? No, next level of fortitude, so I can get the next level of cardio. And that, I think, is definitely much more pressing. But look at this, though. Look at how well our house has come together. It's looking great. I just want to see really quick what the red dot sight looks like. The reflex sight looks like on the sniper rifle. I could also put the full auto trigger mod onto it. Oh, I, mm, I still think the four times is better. Even the two times is better, I think. I'm going to... Put you back in the box. Thank you. Where's that two times? I had one around here somewhere. Uh, there you are. I was going to say, I don't think I sold it. You. That one. Not the bloody book, please. Complete that. I still think the four times is the king. I, I really bloody do. It's got that nice little magnification, and I like the chevron rather than the ring. Could I make myself another four times? Could I roll two four timesies? I reckon I probably can. I just need some more broken glasses, lots of windows around. I can do that. I'm going to do that, actually. I'm definitely going to do that. Well, there you go. Another very highly successful day. That's actually gone so much better than I was anticipating it would. I can get you crafting the next lot of concrete. Got plenty of concrete. Got plenty of cements. I've actually got a decent amount of cobblestone as well. I reckon tomorrow, first thing in the morning, I'm... You know what? I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to get all of my building materials, take all of you, take my nail gun, take my wood. Not that I have a lot of wood, which is going to be a problem, but I'm going to have to take what I can get. I'm going to go spend the morning finally actually building the horde base like I was supposed to so long ago. I did the things I needed to. I got the chem station, which has opened up the ammo crafting for myself. Then what? I've got a little coal mine... All the way down here next to Sarah's treasure. I'm actually Sarah's buried a treasure next to some nitrate as well. So that's not a bad shout. Could head on down there. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll get some rock busters. I'll get my coffees going. It's going to be a great day of horde prepa uh, preparation. I can't even say it properly. That's how foreign a concept it is to me. We're going to prepare for the horde to hopefully not die. But I'll have to come back and prepare for that horde in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like to make sure you hit the like button down below, subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.